and welcome back to another fantastic TCBM. Um, this one I'm really excited about because they're very old cards, very hard to find, and I was very impressed that I was trading with someone, um, and I, I don't know exactly how old he was, but um, seemed on the younger side, and, and judging by the handwriting, um, I don't think I, I was working with um, an adult, so just more... Uh, I don't know how to even put this. I'm impressed more that these cards were in such beautiful condition that he was so careful about describing their conditions and uh, w was just very impressed. So we'll start off with a note first. This is from the Mareep Shepherd. Says, Dear the Cat's Meowth, I noticed a bit of edge wear on another on the Pokemon Center and I had another one. I can't tell which was in better condition, so I sent both. Thank you. I look forward to getting the cards. So we traded for some cards that he needed for um, upcoming regionals, which luckily did arrive to him well in, in time for the event. And then he traded to me several cards that I needed for my um, uh, good old base set collection. So these are cards that I had in my collection, um, but I needed them in mint condition. And uh, they're just, just harder to find. Um, we have a Shadowless Radicate. A first edition Shadowless Weedle. Um, it's hard to tell on the um, just the Shadowless cards. You have to tell more by the copyright date, but you can kind of tell that there isn't the same um, shadow border around the trainer card that you typically see. But so this is, um, or both of these are Shadowless Pokemon Trading Centers. Oh, I'm sorry, Trading Centers, Pokemon Centers. First edition uh, Shadowless Growlithe, and uh, then just a Shadowless Growlithe, and I think I only need one of these, um, forget which one, but they absolutely all look beautiful, and uh, let's take a look at these um, uh, Pokemon centers to see what he meant. Uh, this one looks, yeah, this one looks great. I mean, we, yeah, uh, I, I typically don't even try to aim for gem mint cards in my collection just because it, it's almost impossible to try and get a card, even if you're pulling them straight from the pack yourself, that does not have some edge wear. Okay, so this has a little spot right here. Yeah, and this does have a little more edge wear, but this one is perfectly, um, you know, good near mint mint card, so very happy to have that one in my collection, as well as all the others. So, uh, very, very excited to add these beautiful cards into my base set collection, get these knocked off my once list. And thanks again, Reap Shepherd. Again, I am very impressed um, that someone of your age was um, so careful with their cards, so um, explicit with the details of their condition, and just a very, very reputable good trader. And you, you are certainly, um, I'm making a big deal out of this because uh, I have had run-ins with younger traders before that didn't go so well. And uh, when I'm making the trade binder or trade videos, uh, the references for them, um, every now and then I get someone that gets a little upset. They're like, oh, well, you know, it's just a kid. What do you expect? And, and this is the perfect example that just shows that not all kids are irresponsible traders, that we as adult traders can successfully trade with uh, younger people as well without problems. Um, you just have to, you know, uh, put a little bit of trust in them. And uh, I was very, very pleased and surprised that they came in such nice condition. So thank you again, the Marie Shepherd. Um, I would love to trade with you again.